On behalf of Texas Land Commissioner George P. Bush and the entire GLO, we want to welcome you to our 10th annual symposium, X marks the spot, <laughs> New Directions in Texas and Borderlands History. I am Mark Lambert, the Deputy Director for Archives and Records at the GLO, uh, but I have a whole army of staffers, both from Archives and Records and from other departments at the GLO, and of course, hotel staff assisting us. So thank you to them, especially thanks to James Harkins and Susan Smith Dorsey, my two directors. Thank you all for all your hard work. Um, we know it's going to be a pretty day today, so we thank you for spending your day inside with us. We're just a bunch of history geeks, so thank you for communing with us today. Uh, if you don't know, this won't be the first time or the only time you hear this today. The Safe Text History Program is basically the charitable arm of the GLO Archives, how we raise funds to conserve our collections. Uh, I believe we had a line item in our budget at one time, and it was zeroed out at some point in, in state history when uh, budget gets tight in the state. And so we said, okay, well, challenge accepted. We will raise our funds uh, by other means. And uh, by just attending this, you have given money to the Safe Text History Program to help us do that. Um, we will have a silent auction, emphasis on silent, please, in the back of the room all day today, which we will finish up at 4.40. There, are, there is everything from Botox to boots back there. Um, <laughs> there's some, actually some really neat stuff back there, and thank you to the, to the donors and our exhibitors. Uh, but um, please... Keep, the, keep it to a dull war back, then, cause we, back there because we have speakers all day up here. Uh, not that this is appropriate about anything, but the bar opens at noon. <laughs> uh, feel free to bring your adult beverage in here in the afternoon. Uh, I think since it's called the Stephen F. Austin Room, we're not politicking in here, but I think it's probably pretty appropriate to what was going on in earlier times in Texas. So. Uh, if, if that's your druthers, then feel free to bring your drink in. Um, before I forget, if you are a Texas teacher, you can get credits for being here today. There is a sign-up form over by our table. Make sure you go back there, eight hours CPE credit. So that's a win-win, right? Uh, this is our annual big fall fundraiser. Uh, other things we do during the year, certainly big things during Texas History Month in March. Uh, we do a fundraising campaign online in May. If in the last couple years you donated, uh, you got one of these wonderful t-shirts. Sarah, can you stand up and show off your t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> I Save Texas History uh, Design. <laughs> Thank you. And this past spring was map socks. I forgot to wear my map socks, but if you're a map nut like many of us at the GLOR, you, would, you could have gotten map socks for a $30 donation. And we will continue those in the future. I think you could probably buy the map socks in the back, right? Thank you. Patrick's waving. If you want map socks, uh, we're going to give you the soft sell all day today, but if, if it's too much, just ignore it. Um, the things we're proud of at the GLO Archives are excellent customer service. Every interaction, I want to be excellent with, with y'all. If there's ever a problem, uh, just email me or call me. I mean, I, nobody's in trouble. It's like, how did this happen? How can we fix it? How can we you know, not have this happen in the future? Uh, that's our number one goal is to help y'all out. Uh, I didn't pay her for this. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Checks in the mail. Um, we have a large amount of digital content online. Uh, hopefully you're aware of that. Second most in the state, I think, after the portal of Texas history, which has a lot of graduate students and work studies that can help them do that. Uh, and we are very active on social media. Now, you might go, oh, what do I care about social media? Well, if you don't understand how the land system works in Texas, if you don't understand how the GLO archives is different than other archives in the state, you can find our blogs online. Uh, of course, we, we would love for you to follow us on Twitter or Facebook, but there are really short articles, I'll say concise articles, that explain many of the aspects of the, of the land system in Texas that will help you better understand even before you call us. Um, and we might then send you a link later to say, well, this describes it in, uh, you know, 500 words or less. So those are, you could Google those and find those. Um, Save Texas History Program blog 
on Medium, which is a, a, a format. Uh, that is helpful even if you don't follow social media, if you ever need a, a better explanation on something. Uh, on page 10 of our program today, you will see some of the highlights of what we've accomplished in the last year. But one of the things not mentioned was we just completed putting all of our original land grant files online. That is every land grant file dealing with the Republic and state of Texas. Uh, that represents 3 million images, about 200,000 PDFs. Uh, that took a long time for us to do, 13 years, two months, six days. Um, <laughs> That is our most heavily used collection, but it's one of only about 80 in our archives. So uh, we will be scanning um, long into the future. Uh, of course, if you always want to see the originals, you can, you can come see us in our reading room, but you can access now much of our history uh, during the day, at night, across the world, in your pajamas. Uh, so we're proud of that accomplishment. Um, and lastly, I, I like to say this at every conference, but these are your records. As Texas citizens, these are your records. These aren't the GLO's records. These aren't our records. These are your records. We're trying to get them, which is why we put so much digital content out there, why we use so much social media, so you know about what we have of your records. Uh, genealogists, historians, surveyors are some of our best customers, but for whatever reason, uh, give us a call, shoot an email, look at our website. Uh, if you attended yesterday's graduate session, thank you for coming yesterday and dealing with all our construction. It's kind of pandemonium there right now, the north end of the Texas Capitol Complex. But I, just a general, could we give a round of applause to our speakers yesterday because they were great. As I was telling somebody yesterday, if you're here today, uh, our speaker has probably written a book on this topic, and so you could go out and buy the book later to learn more. But yesterday was kind of the foreshadowing of some really good research that comes out before most people uh, will know about it. And that's one of the things that we're trying to focus on is um, Texas history, excuse me, is always evolving. We're learning new stuff. It goes back and redefines old concepts that we knew, but it, uh, th that was a great example of that yesterday. We think we have a truly outstanding group of speakers today. I'll say this is probably one of our more eclectic schedules, but I think if you've looked, read what all the speakers are going to talk about, it's some really interesting stuff that is, a lot of it has been changing Texas history in the last 20 or 30 years. Now I'd like to thank all of our sponsors, um, our two underwriters. You'll see them flash, or you saw them flashing on the screen. There you go. Thank you, David. Uh, the Summerlee Foundation, Frank and Carol Holcomb, two underwriters, our platinum level sponsor, the Bob Bullock Texas State History Museum. Hopefully you made it to the reception last night. That was wonderful. Diamond level sponsor, the Texas State Historical Association. Uh, gold level sponsors, Texas Society for, of Professional Surveyors, Texas Map Society, Texas State University Center for the Study of the Southwest, Texas A&M University Libraries, Briscoe Center for American History, UT Austin, Texas State Genealogical Society, Barry Lawrence Ruderman, Antique Maps, Inc., Center for Texas Studies, Texas Christian University, TCU, Silver Level Sponsors, Portal to Texas History, University of Texas Press. Did I skip one? Uh, the Antiquarium in Houston, I thought I was under silver, so sorry, my apologies. Portal of Texas History, University of Texas Press, American Educational Services, Inc., University of Texas Department of History, Capstone Title, San Antonio Conservation Society, I haven't seen them yet, Lilas Benson, Latin American Studies and Collections, the George Herbert Walker Bush Presidential Library and Museum right outside the door, and the Antiquarium Houston with Ed and Mary Ann, Grusness, thank you very much. And thank you to our donors for our auction items and for our exhibitors. Uh, we are in this building all day today. We will end about, the last speaker should end roughly about 4.30. Uh, we uh, lost a speaker in the afternoon, so we have a little extra time at the end. Uh, if the speaker ends at about 4.30, the silent auction will end at 4.40, so you will have 10 minutes to get back to the scrum in the back and try to win what you've been looking at. Um, after that, the evening speaker is in here, but if, if you're staying here, you can go back to your room for a couple hours, be back here at 7. If uh, you're not staying here today, I heard that there's a bar right outside the door that opens at noon, uh, and you could belly up to the bar with Stephen F. Austin's 
friends. Um, the two most important announcements I will give you are the restrooms are in the southeast corner of this floor, or if my wife was here, I would say go past the elevators and to the right. Uh, also, please put your phaser on stun at this time out of respect for our speakers. And if you have any questions today and I'm running around like my head is cut off, uh, just grab anybody with a GLO tab on the bottom of their label, and we will help you figure out which, where you need to go and what you need to do. Now I'd like to introduce our first speaker. Uh, Commissioner Bush sent us a very special video. Commissioner Bush sent us a very special video. I did not know that. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Texas Land Commissioner George P. Bush. Welcome to the 10th Annual Save Texas History Symposium. Thanks to your presence, you are able to inspire a new generation of Texans as it relates to our rich history. This is a program that is sponsored by folks like yourself that take the time and the energy to devote to living history. And I can tell you as a former high school teacher who has traveled throughout the state of Texas this year in our devotion to education in K through 12 here in Texas that it's your support that allows us to preserve primary sources for the future of our great state. Uh, we look forward to celebrating another 10 great years with you, and we appreciate your support. Woohoo! Thanks, boss. 